If you've driven in Fort Wayne, at some point you've had to wonder, how did that street get its name? Or even better, why does this street change names three times? Well, here's the guy who tries to answer those questions, and I hope you find his work positively Fort Wayne. Before the cold and snow forced us inside, Joshua Skipper wanted to meet to talk about his book on California Road. The legend, the local legend says that pioneers in the 1840s who were going to California looking for gold would take that path back when it was probably a dirt path. Uh, and that's how the name California came about there. So it points to the direction where the pioneers uh, would take to get to California. Because Illinois Road didn't go far enough and had too many stoplights. Joshua grew up on Stanton Drive in Northeast Fort Wayne. I do know that my neighborhood was a dairy farm and I know one of the street's origins, Hedwig, was like the matriarch of the family. I haven't found a Stanton yet. My dad's theory is that it was named for maybe a favorite cow of the, the dairy farm. Back in the day, a lot of trails led to and from the city when it was just a fort, but the first streets were plotted by John Barr and John McCorkle. You recognize Barr from Barr Street. John McCorkle never had a street named after him. Why that happened, not sure yet. There's probably a record somewhere. Maybe they had a falling out of sort. Um, but only 50% of the people who laid the first streets have a street named for them. The book is full of fascinating stories, but as someone who has driven Fort Wayne since 1989, I still want to know how I can drive straight down one road, say State Road 3, and have it turn into Lima, then Clinton, then US 27, and I haven't turned the wheel. A big reason that the names change is because, you know, city limits gets pushed back so far. The city connected streets when they were along the same path. They just connected them, didn't change the name because it's, it's hard to change all your addresses. People don't like to change their addresses. They're really stubborn. Joshua's book is available on Amazon. Visit Fort Wayne, which of course is on Harrison, named after the president from Indiana, or Hyde Brothers on Wells, a street that used to be called, I'm going to save that for the book, Dirk Rally, Wayne 15 News. I like it. That I, Hoffman I, Street we need. Someday, if I ever achieve anything, <laughs> I would like a street. Gold. <laughs> yes. Something.